Hi, I'm Lester Passio from TechTV.com. Today, I'm doing a quick review on Eclipse IDE. Eclipse is a multi-language software development environment comprising an integrated development environment IDE and an extensible plugin system. It is written mostly in Java. It can be used to develop applications in Java and by means of various plugins, other programming languages including C, C++, Cobol, Perl, PHP, Python, R, Ruby including Ruby on Rails, Scala, Groovy and Scheme. It can also be used to develop packages for the software Mathematica. Development environments include the Eclipse Java development tools JDT for Java, Eclipse CDT for C or C++ and Eclipse PDT for PHP among others. To download Eclipse, go to www.eclipse.org slash downloads and you can see the download page of Eclipse. There are different packages for different developers. For example, Eclipse IDE for Java developers, Eclipse Classic, JBoss Developer Studio, and for C or C++ developers, modeling tools, JavaScript web developers, RCP and RIP developers, Java and report developers, testers, scout developers, etc. You can download a relevant package according to which programming language you use. Now I am downloading Eclipse Classic and showing you in developing simple Java applications. You can select which OS you have, Windows 32 bit or 64 bit. You will be redirected to the Eclipse download section. Select a relevant mirror site to start download. And you can see that the download has started. The download has been completed. This is the downloaded file. You will need WinRAR or any other relevant compression tool to extract this zip archive. Right click on this archive and select extract here. And you can see WinRAR extracts the zip archive. This is the extracted folder. Double click on it. And you can see the Eclipse files. You can see an application file named Eclipse with an Eclipse logo. Double click on it. And you can see the Eclipse is launching. It asks for selecting a workspace. This is the folder where Eclipse stores all your projects and you can select browse to select a different folder I recommend checking this if you uh, consider that workspace as permanent checking this will make your workspace permanent and uh, you will not be asked again click OK and now you can see the Eclipse is starting to load this is the Eclipse IDE to start with, select File, click New and select Java Project and type in a project name and select Finish and now right click on the project you have created and select New and in that select Class. Give a name for the class and click finish and now you can see Eclipse has created a test class under test project. Now I am going to test Eclipse by creating a simple Java application. public static void main string args this is a simple java application for printing a line 
system dot out dot print ln and you can type in a message in the braces and place a semicolon at the end now to run the project select run and click run give ok and now you can see the message has been printed in the console tab the project you created will be saved to the workspace folder that you have given earlier this was a quick review on eclipse ide this is less than pass you from techiv.com signing off